Okay, welcome back to another video. The first video I did concerning how to easily detect short circuits in any motherboard. Some people came to my DM and they were telling me that I'm lying, that this is not the right way to detect shots on the motherboard. But today, I have an evidence and um, the reason why I'm doing this is because of my audience, because of my community. So I'm going to repost this video explaining to you vividly why you need to understand why we have a short circuit around this processor. Now, this is the video is going to put you through everything you need to know. And um, please, I want you to watch carefully and pay attention. And I'm going to add a standard video to this video so that it will teach you more. Because I bumped into a video that actually talks about, um, the video talked about what I explained in the last video. But I think some of you didn't understand it. That was why they came to my DM and they were saying some, some things that I didn't like. So I'm going to explain to you why we have a shot around this processor um i'm going to also join it with the video i saw online that is i saw it on this youtube and i'm going to join it there because it's going to explain to you vividly what you need to understand so please stay tuned to the end of this video and make sure you subscribe hit the subscribe button if this is your first time of coming across this channel i am ict doctor i teach you things about tech computer systems and electronics everything you need to know about it both hardware and software so hit the subscribe button and then um, give this video a thumbs up so let's head on to this video and um see the reason why i have a short circuit around the processor and also why we have to use the coils on the motherboard to detect short circuit so let's head on to this video but before then let us remove the sink of this processor okay very good now this is we have removed the sink of this motherboard this is what they call sink in every motherboard this is the copper for cooling down this processor and this is the cooling fan the cooling fan now this is the processor itself we have here the processor and this is the motherboard as a full now i'm going to use these two motherboards to explain something to you here today if you watch closely you see that there is no processor here and this one we have a processor now the video i explained the previous time i was talking about why we have a low resistance i'm going to add the video so in my previous video i explained why we have a low resistance around the processor or around the cpu but some people doubted me they never believed my explanation and today i have a video that i'm going to use to prove this thing to you but before then, I want to practically write and um, show you something here real quick. Now watch closely. This is my multimeter. Remember, I told you if you are doing anything like this, you must have a multimeter. You must have a multimeter. And um, if you want to detect shots or if you want, if you are reading for shots on any motherboard, you set your multimeter to continuity mode. Here we have a continuity mode here to detect any shots. And that is number one. Then number two, we use coils on the motherboard to identify shots. These are coils. These are coils. This is a coil here. This is a coil here. This is a coil here. We have coils on the motherboard. We have a lot of coils on this motherboard. So we use coils to detect shots. We use coils, these are coils, these are coils, these are coils. We use coils to detect shots. And in this system, this motherboard, we have coils, 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 we have coils. You can either call it a coil or a reactor. I explained this in my previous video. You know what short circuit means? Short circuit simply means a continuity. Now, coils are not supposed listen to me very well listen to me very well these coils you are looking at now these coils are not supposed to short to the ground because coils are never connected to the ground we have two legs in these coils we have this leg and we have this leg coils can never short in to the ground these two coils these two legs are connected to the power of every circuit motherboard 
they are never connected to the ground. So whenever you are dictating a shot in any motherboard, we use coils. This is what experts use. And this is what some people don't want you to understand or know. But in a situation whereby we have the coils being shorted or giving signs of low resistance or beeping as low resistance, that means if we ever had a coil being shot, that means there is a shot around that circuit. So let's do this now. Focus on coils. Look, this is coil. This one is coil. Here also we have another coil. We have coils everywhere in the motherboard. So these inductors are the key to detect any short circuit in any motherboard in seconds. And of course, in some motherboards, you can find coils like those, as you can see here. We have PL. This is coil, not capacitor. This is the hidden key that experts use to spot short circuits. And you also, my friend, you will be one of these experts today. So make sure you watch the video until the end because we're gonna study no shorted motherboard and other shorted motherboard in order to understand where handler persons. I'll show you how. So we need just the multimeter, any multimeter, and choose the continuity option. So let's begin with this motherboard first and check if it is shorted or not. So the ground for a beginner is everywhere, as you can see on the board, everywhere. This one also is ground. We have hair ground. Ground hair also is ground everywhere, as you can see. So let's select this ground hair. As I told you, we're gonna use the coils, the key to detect short circuit fast. Let's go. Here, we have already no short in the circuit. Here, no short. Here, no short. No short. We have already no short. This coil. Oh, we have a bit. About 16. Okay, is it a short? Again, we have about 16 in the multimeter. Guys, this is not a short because this coil belongs to the cpu circuit and we know that the cpu has a low resistance so please don't be confused this is not a short this is normal reading for cpu so let's check another motherboard okay this one for example here this is a nice motherboard so the black from on the ground okay let's check these two coils no short no short this one here Oh, we get already. About six. Is it a short? Let's check this one also. Six. 5.4. Guys, is it a short? No, my friends. Please don't be confused. These coils are for processor. This is where beginners and even some professional technicians become confused and began changing component. Please don't do it. Do you want to prove? I'll give you the proof right now. So, because this processor is connected to the board, I cannot remove it like this. Let's check a motherboard with a simple processor just to understand. Let's use this motherboard. We have a removable processor just to understand, my friend. The black probe in the ground. This is the CPU circuit. So, let's check these coils. Okay, we get about six. This one also. Same reading. About six. Is it a short? Let's find out. Okay. I will remove the processor, as you can see, like this. No, the processor is free. If I go and check, the short is gone. Do you see, guys? Okay. Let's connect the processor again, like this, and check. Again, we have sex. Okay. Let's make it 100% understood for beginners i'm here for you my friends don't worry okay i will put the red probe here okay and in the same time i will open the processor look we have a short open gun close as you can see gun you see guys because when i open the processor the processor become free do you see even if I didn't remove it, but it's not connected to the board. 
once i close or connect the processor we have a short why the processor has a low resistance about 6 ohm 10 ohms depending on the type of the board that's why we get this low reading and many beginners become confused right here and even many of my followers told me via email that they find a short on the cpu circuit and they remove the mosfet or capacitors please don't do it i hope you understand but stay tuned because i'm going to show you a real shorted board and you will be impressed guys before diving into shorted board let's check first this desktop motherboard and see if the working principle is the same for laptops and desktop motherboards or not because many of my followers ask me to check desktop motherboard also let's do it we have also the same working principle ground everywhere as you can see everywhere we have ground my friends and of course the negative side of the electrolytic capacitor also is ground you can use it so for the desktop motherboard this is inductors so let's find out so let's begin with the ram circuit so the black drop head on the ground and check the coil look no beep no reading means this is good no problem okay let's pass directly to the processor circuit so the black probe on the ground so the black probe on the ground and let's check oh we get 3.8 4 is this a short okay let's find out let me remove the cpu okay and find out if this is a short or not the cpu is removed okay so let's recheck again one probe here on the ground another probe here the short is gone let's check this one also here you see guys high reading no short let's reconnect the processor again okay processor is connected let's close the socket black rub on the ground check the coil again low reading do you understand my friends this is not a short we do it also for the desktop motherboard and pay attention it's not just for the processor but also for the chipsets the not bridge the pc same working principle also you will get a low ready let's check this inductor over here do you see we get about 22 in the multimeter this is not a short this is the resistance of the not bridge I hope you understand. Now let's move on to shorted board. The moment everyone waiting for. Guys, this is a shorted board. But let's find out. So the black probe here on the ground. Let's check the coils. This one. Good. This one. Good. This one. Good. This one here. 2.1. 1.8. Okay, this is a short. This one here. Guys. Here we have a short, but because this is the CPU circuit, I have to remove the CPU to make sure this is a short or not. Okay, let's do it right now. So let me remove the CPU. Okay, the CPU is loosened. Okay, the CPU now is removed. Let's root check again. So always the black probe on the ground and let's check again. So normally I should not get a short or a low ready let's check oh 1.8 guys 100 percent this is a short it's not the cpu resistance we remove the cpu this one is shorted and to be sure you can check here the 10 term capacitors same reading the ceramic capacitors same reading all of them you understand guys this is a real short let's see another board so guys this is the second shorted motherboard please don't worry this is an old motherboard but my goal is to understand to make you understand 100 percent okay the processor is removed if we check the coils next to the processor socket look we get about 3.5 this one also here 3.5 if we check capacitors as you can see in both sides 1.7 you see 
in both sides means shorted circuit so guys i hope you understand and you can differentiate right now between a real short circuit and a non-short so please if you have any question and if you want to add anything please in the comments i always do my best to answer all comments and please don't forget to subscribe like and share this video and for anyone who want to accent learning you are very welcome i can be your mentor the link of my patreon page in the description so please remember always use the coils or capacitors to find the shorts but remember that coils near the cpu or pch will give you a low reading it's normal of course it's normal to get 9 10 15 6 no problem about all chipset circuits otherwise no you have to go a low reading and no bit okay so thank you very much